Sheen Shots. Yeah, boy. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Sheen Shots channel. Today, got a little bit different video for you. So, we're going to be talking about two different topics. Topic number one will be at the end of the video. This will be how to beat outward bosses and why you haven't been able to beat them yet. Some of them are pretty difficult. Specifically, we'll be taking a look at the Queen Trog fight. This fight can be very difficult because you're fighting more than one enemy and the boss has a heal mechanic that basically fully heals her whenever she casts it. So you can see why it might be really, really difficult to beat this boss and I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to maybe go about this. Topic number two will be at the beginning of the video. If you want to skip this part, there will be a timestamp down in the bottom of the video. It will be in the description. So if you want to skip this, that's totally okay. But we will be talking about the Sheen Shots channel itself. What's up with Sheen Shots? What are we planning to do? And what we've accomplished already on the channel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Sheen Shots channel. We reached 100k. I have not been able to address it yet, but I am now. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Been a lot of work, been a lot of time spent in this channel, and I've loved every single minute of it. A lot of fun. Love hanging out with you guys, commenting, and just talking back and forth about the game. Really, really great. I really appreciate the follows, the subscribes, the likes, everything. All of it. The whole nine yards. You guys are awesome. I get a lot of views on my channel. I get a lot of people commenting. And I get a lot of people subscribing to the videos and actually engaging about this game. It's a great game. I love it. Now, if you haven't noticed, I did post an Elden Ring video. Wanted to see what I could do with the with the game, right? I just wanted to see. Well, it did really well, okay? It's the highest viewing video on my channel so far. But it's because it's Elden Ring, you know? It's not really a surprise. So I will not be primarily focusing on Elden Ring if you're wanting to see prime content on that. That's not me. I'm not that kind of person. That's not my game. I like the game. I am playing it currently. It's a lot of fun. You should try it out if you haven't. But it's not my primary content. Outward is. I will be trying to make maybe one video a week on Elden Ring. But again, that game's a little bit harder to make quality content for. So I will be focusing on Outward and maybe making one or two videos on it every once in a while. Now, what are we covering outward wise? Well, Definitive Edition is gonna come out sometime in the next year, right? Sometime. So I am pretty happy and excited about that. I will be covering everything I can on Definitive Edition and I will be covering any trailers, announcements or anything like that. So if you're looking for that stuff, it will be here when it comes out. I will be covering it all. I also will be trying to cover more of the Caldera stuff. This is the Three Brothers DLC. There's like nothing on it. <laughs> There's like nothing on it anywhere you can find. Um, so I will be trying to cover that. This is gonna, this is gonna, you know, be embarrassing, all right. But I have not beat the Three Brothers DLC. I'm sorry. I haven't. I know. I'm a failure. But the problem is, is I make too many builds. So I get halfway through. I'm tired of building the town. I go make a new build. I never go back. So, so I end up just making a bunch of different builds and never actually finishing the game. So I will be trying to cover more of the, the final bosses of the Caldera region and also more of the weapons, storyline stuff. I'm wanting to do more lore. If you subscribe to the channel because you wanted to see lore, I'm sorry. It hasn't been a primary objective on the channel yet lore in outward is very difficult because it's so spread out it takes a long time to track everything down and all that kind of stuff so i haven't made any more lore videos since the wendigo and the immaculate i will be trying to hopefully maybe get some more out um i understand your frustration on that because lore is pretty great especially in outward it's really cool there's a lot there and there's a lot to unpack it's it's pretty neat stuff and i haven't been putting a lot of it out i will try but again it is very difficult because the lore in outward is so spread out each faction quest intertwines with all the other faction quests so if you want to talk about let's say the cryptea you have to talk about the Three Brothers DLC because they're in that. You have to talk about the Red Lady who's in the Berg DLC, the Blue Chamber Collective. Then if you want to talk about Elat, well, the, the Holy Mission faction quest is all about Elat. But if you take the Levant faction quest, you get to learn a little bit more about Elat. So it's it's a, a lot to do, and I need to just go through and record a full playthrough of everything so I can get it all. So if you're looking for lore videos, haven't been a primary objective, sorry about that. If you're looking for build videos, there will be more of those. Now I have some videos going of different builds. I have video ideas and I have started a few videos on those builds. Now I did get a few viewer submissions of builds they want me to make or they have made and want me to make a video on. 
Still planning to do those. I know that you haven't seen them. It could be hard to just sit down and make one video when there's a lot to make with this game. So I have a lot of different ideas that I'm trying to put out there. So build videos, lots of those, those will be coming out. But if you haven't seen a specific video that you asked for, just wait a bit. I will try to get it out as soon as I can. I'm looking to make a bunch of content on this game because it needs to be, there just needs to be some out there. It's hard to know a lot of stuff about this without just sitting and reading the wiki page. If you're looking for more information on those, I, I'm still working on some of them. And I will hopefully get them out to you guys soon. Hopefully. As far as outward content creators, there aren't many. I'm one of the very few making outward content. In terms of tips, tricks, tutorials, that type of thing. Now, there are a lot of co-op, co-op, sorry. <laughs> Messed that up in my last video. Co-op playthroughs on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of them. Some of them are pretty good. I've been watching a few of the newer playthroughs that people have been doing. Some of them are pretty funny. I work can be pretty hilarious sometimes. Now, I do want to mention Lazy Liger. Lazy underscore Liger on Twitch. If you enjoy this channel, you enjoy outward content, quality outward content, head over to Twitch, Lazy underscore Liger. This guy, I played with him. I think I did a 12-hour stream with this man. Great at the game. He's, he's actually, I think, better at the game in terms of potion crafting, regular being prepared for weather conditions that type of thing really fun to play with i enjoyed it he's a great guy so if you want to hang out with somebody uh live who's doing our content lazy liger over on twitch check him out hit him up with a follow just for me from the sheen shots man um hit him up with a follow um and check his content out i think right now he's doing a hex slash gun build which is pretty unique and uh i've i've watched some stuff on it it's powerful it's really powerful. So if you're interested in that, go check that out. Watch some of his older streams and check out that build. It's it's pretty dang powerful. Guns hit hard and hexes hit hard. So mixing that makes for a pretty mean combo. Other than that, there isn't much to talk about about the Sheen Shots channel. We're still cooking. We're still making videos. We're progressing. I love the uh, the commentary I get in the comments. So you, everybody who reads a comment, I try to read them all and respond. I really appreciate those. I love that you guys have uh, been so engaged in the channel. And it's been great so far. I really appreciate it. And I just want you guys to know that. So thanks for that. A thousand subs. Really appreciate that. That's pretty exciting for a YouTuber. That's uh, it's a pretty big deal. Pretty big milestone. So thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Now, let's get in to some more important outward content. You're wanting to know how to beat some of these bosses. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of unique bosses. My initial way to play outward, and like most people, is to make a build, right? You make one build and you go through and you try to beat the whole game with this build. That's not always the most effective. Can you do that? Yes, I imagine so. I, I'm not saying you can't. I imagine if you're good enough, you know how to play the game well enough, you can beat outward with any build. I think that's fair. Being able to dodge correctly and everything. That's how any game works. If you're good enough, you can do it. Now, if you're not good enough like me, who sucks at boss fight, what you can do is prepare a little bit better. Now you're going to be like, well, duh, you prepare for the fight. That's stupid sheen shots. Okay, yeah, I know. But what I'm talking about is different armor sets. Now, unique weapons and armors in Outward. Each blacksmith has a different armor set that they sell and can craft for you. You want to actually collect these. You want to collect every single one if you can. Every unique boss does more damage in terms of a certain element and or physical damage. So let's say you're fighting the Crescent Sharks. These are over in Levant. If you're fighting the Crescent Sharks, you want to be very resistant to ethereal damage. Ethereal damage can absolutely shred you quickly, and these guys do a lot of it with their mana traps. So if you stack out on, so let's say, some wolf armor that has a ton of resistance to ethereal or ethereal, you will actually be able to take way more hits from them without instantly dying whereas if you went in with a hex mage who typically would have let's say rust lich armor or maybe gold lich armor you would instantly die by a mana trap almost because it does so much damage to you now what you can do is you can collect different armor sets each blacksmith they have one you can collect these and you can switch up your armors for the specific fight you're looking at let's say trog queen that's one we're looking at in this video decay damage all the way this entire fight maxed out decay damage right all the trogs do decay damage the green trogs throw the decay bombs at you that poison you right those are not good you don't want to be hit by those then we have the queen trog herself who shoots giant green decay balls at you balls of death right we'll throw on some silver armor or the jade lich armor and you can become almost completely immune to any of the decay attacks now one of the best things you can do is the silver armor problem with the jade lich armor is it's mage armor so getting hit by physical attacks will pretty much instantly kill you. <laughs> it's not going to be great. So if you're going into the trog fight and you're like, I know I'm going to suck at this fight. I know I'm going to get hit. I know she's going to heal herself the whole time. 
what do I do? Switch it up. Switch your armor up, okay? Switch over to some silver armor so that you can take physical hits without instantly dying and switch over to silver armor for the decay resistance so that you don't die from that, right? You can get poisoned and not even care. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is worry about stagger. Now, this is what I'm talking about specifically in this video. Stagger or staggering your enemies is one of the most important things in any game. Now, I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring lately. Even in that game, if you're able to stagger an enemy, you're able to hit them five or six more times while they can't fight back, right? Outwards the same way. If you're able to knock your enemy over, you can stop them from doing any attack or heal mechanic. So one of the biggest things to do with the Queen Trog specifically is to knock her over. Get her to stagger. Get her to stop doing her heal mechanic. Stagger is really great. Now, if you're looking for weapons that do this, SAR weapons are fantastic. Unfortunately, the only way to really utilize SAR weapons properly is to take the Cabal Hermit skill tree for the Wind Infuse so that your weapons aren't slow as crap. So, other alternatives are the Star Child Claymore. This thing's amazing. It hits like a truck. You could also use any of the bigger weapons. Horror weapons are great. Vampiric weapons work pretty well. Glass weapon, anything that hits hard. You know, anything that has high damage quickly is going to impact your enemy and make them fall over way faster. Now, specifically for the Queen Trog, you may not be able to stagger her all the time. It's going to be hard. You're going to have to attack repetitively in order to get her to stagger. Just staggering might be difficult, but you don't have to stagger. Just hitting her enough can stop her from doing the health animation attack. So if you stay in close and try to do melee combat enough, she won't be able to do the heal mechanic because she'll be attacking you too much to do that. Now, each experience is going to be different. She may try to heal more often for you than she does for me. She may try to melee you more often than she does for me. But if you try to stagger her more often and you try to wear armor that is completely immune to everything she has, you'll be perfectly fine. In this particular video that I have shown for you, I did a hex page and I absolutely couldn't touch her. I did a whole bunch of damage to her, but I couldn't do anything because she just healed. Hexes don't really stagger that well unless you do the rupture and you just can't do it because she just heals. So you're going to want to be able to stagger enemies really, really well. In terms of some other examples for other enemies, let's say you're trying to go up against the mantis shrimp, the giant mantis shrimp. Well, max out on lightning resistance. Gold Lich armor, um, or you could use the, I believe it's Copal armor. Max that out, put on a lightning boon, take almost zero damage from lightning attacks. So you can stay far away, hit it with some hexes, explode it, done. Easy fight. Whereas, if you go into the fight like a regular old Joe, right? You just go in there with your armor set. Let's say you're, uh, you're a dagger build. Let's say you do a dagger build. You go in there, you're wearing desert armor. You get one-shotted. Well, you got one-shotted because you have no resistance to lightning. Any one particular build is going to be pretty weak against certain enemies. So, go into a fight. Expect to lose. Test out some of the mechanics. See what they can do. Understand their attacks. Go back to your chest. Grab the armor that is resistant to whatever they have. Put it on. Go fight them again. Shred them. Now, if you're looking up the boss's weaknesses on the wiki or anything like that, or watching videos, then you don't have to, obviously, go into the fight blind. But if you're wanting to... Go in, you might, you're probably not going to win the first time, right? These bosses are pretty difficult. Go in the first time, see what element they're using, then come back completely resistant to it. Now, I will say one current boss in the game, I believe it's called the Immaculate's Bird. You can find this enemy by going to the Immaculate in the Antique Plateau area. If you go to the Friendly Immaculate, and if you've already killed him, it doesn't matter. You don't need the Immaculate. If you go to the Friendly Immaculate's area or cave, you can talk to his bird cage if you have four or alertness on. If you talk to it, you go into the cage. It's pretty cool. You get to like shrink and go into the cage. And you get to fight the Immaculate's bird. This is a pretty sucky enemy. He, he's not good. He's just bad. He's, his attacks are good. He can kill you with his attacks. But his defense is terrible. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay, I don't know for sure. But I almost guarantee you that they buff him in Definitive Edition because he's really, really bad right now. I mean, you can take him out easily. I fought him with a hex build and completely destroyed him with rupture in like one attack with barely any of the hexes on him. So specifically like in this enemy, you might be able to take out with any build. You know what I mean? It's going to depend on the enemy. Each one is different. Now, I know you might be thinking, oh, this is a dumb topic. You know, I just, I got to get better armor. I got to get better stats and stuff. Specifically, I made this video because, well, I want you guys to understand that stagger is more important than you might think. Let's say you're fighting a bandit, right? You're fighting a bandit, you choose a sword. You're not going to get a lot of stagger out of that sword. So when you hit your enemy, you're going to have to come in, 
hit back off. Now, if you hit with a great axe, you're going to come in, you're going to waylay him twice, he's going to fall on the ground. That's different. So if you're having trouble, even in the beginning game, you know, sometimes if you're a new player and you're having trouble with attacks, one thing I recommend is to go with a weapon that can stagger quickly. Another way to do this is to just do running attacks, sprint attacks, a quick attack that you can just get in, hit, run out. That's another good way to do it. But if you're looking to not get hit as much, staggering your enemies is great. Again, SAR weapons are going to be the best for this, but you got to be careful with those because they, you know, they're really slow. Guns are also a good way to stagger. They take out a lot of the enemy's stability, so if you want to do a gun attack and then run in and hit them so that they fall down, that's great. If you are really wanting to knock your enemies down and you don't actually have an impact weapon, something that hits really hard, go get Sweep Kick from Styx and Levant. If you get Sweep Kick from Styx Love from Levant and you inflict confusion on an enemy, you can instantly knock them down. Your Sweep Kick will always knock them down. So, Cannon Pistol inflicts confusion. There's a number of weapons that inflict confusion. If you are having trouble with a boss, if you're having trouble with a particular enemy, hit it with confusion, switch off. You never need to inflict it again unless you're using, I believe, like a hex or a dagger build. Sometimes the dagger, one of the attacks takes it off. But if you're having trouble with any enemy, just use Sweep Kick on them. Don't change up your build at all. Just throw on a Cannon Pistol, shoot your enemy, switch off to whatever you were using. Then you can use Sweep Kick to knock them down whenever you need to. Sweep Kick's amazing. Amazing. It's an amazing skill, and it's a tier 1 skill, so you don't need any other skill tree to use it. You need to head to Levant, which sucks because it's a long journey at the beginning of the game for it. But Sweep Kick's very powerful and should be used regularly if you want to be knocking your enemies down and stopping them from doing things like healing. So if you're having trouble with bosses, that's just a little tip to use. You know, stagger your enemies. You're going to want to be hitting them fast. One last thing to mention, axes. The axe main attack the, is not amazing the main attack is not amazing but the power attack hits three times and can do amazing stagger damage so if you're looking for one of the best weapons for stagger an axe is really good any axe works i like sunfall axe but again star weapons do it better so star weapon wind infuse axe that's gonna shred your enemy's stability bar absolutely shred so if you're looking to defeat some bosses and you're having trouble you know you don't know what to do that's just a little mini tip to try and help you out switch up your armor switch up your gear collect stuff don't just be grabbing and selling right collect these armor sets so that you can then go into a fight and be like okay what do i need now what should i bring with me to go fight this guy so i can do a better job and not have to just run around the ring the whole time and try not to die so anyway guys that's about it for the video thanks for watching thanks for checking out the channel and hopefully now you can go take on some bosses and uh, not immediately crap your pants. Thanks for watching the Sheen Shots channel and I will catch you in the next video.